Whoa, look at it go! <laughs> that is so cool! Howdy, survivors, and welcome back to Unturned 3 Early Preview. Today we're going to take a look at Unturned 3.6.7.0. This is the latest update, at least at the time of this recording, though we are going to focus primarily on the new farming mechanic that was added by Nelson very recently. And I have uh, I've gotten dressed up for the occasion. I've got my farmer's garb on here. You can see my farmer's hat and my farmer's checkered shirt and my farmer's armored police vest and my farmer's night vision goggles and my farmer's 45 caliber sidearm. What? It's a zombie apocalypse. Come on now. Farmer can't be too prepared. <laughs> All right, let's get to Canada. Let's get to farming. I'll meet you there. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had green eyesight. Nah. And here we are, survivors at Old McDonald's farm. Let's get to farming. Alright, I'm just kidding. This is not really a farm. I had big plans for this episode, guys. I really wanted to have kind of a fun adventure. Just like I normally do, where we drive around a bit. Go look for the supplies we want for this particular episode, which would have been farming supplies. Maybe some farming clothing. Down here at the farms, this is the farm country around Saskatchewan. And then from there, I was thinking maybe to drive to the towns and look around for the new botanist stores to get fertilizer and seeds and, and so forth and so on. But unfortunately, none of that stuff is actually complete yet. So I've just spawned this stuff in the game um, through the, the admin commands, and we're just going to do it here. It's not quite as fun. Or exciting as dramatic or dramatic, but I'm gonna save that for the let's play anyway, which is just around the corner All right with that said let's get started on the farming or in this case. This is more like gardening So these right here guys are called planters. I've already created these crafted them up with the uh, with the necessary ingredients and I planted some tomatoes or tomatoes depending on how you say it and over here. I have potatoes or potatoes no, not potatoes. Uh, taters, depending on how you say it. So, first things first. Let's go ahead and eat because I'm hungry and I'm also thirsty. And I want to show you what we can do here with these, with these uh, taters and the tomatoes. So, first and foremost, this is the same as it was before. You just walk up to your, your plants and you harvest it with an E. And uh, you can, of course, eat that tater raw just the way it is. And that adds a bit of food. You can see down there in the bottom left. But now, behold the magic. I'm going to harvest a tomato. It falls right out of the sky, essentially. Bloop. And let's eat it. Now watch, down on the bottom left, my hydration bar. <gasps> it's like magic. Yep. Tomatoes hydrate. Isn't that lovely? Let's have another. Mm -mm. You got to love it, guys. That is a beautiful thing. So, now that we have harvested and we've had our breakfast, let's go ahead and do some crafting. Now, just like in the old version, in version uh, Unturned 2, we can still take our vegetables and we can break those down into seeds like we have right here. And these can be planted outside on the grass if you so desire. Uh, in fact, why don't we just demonstrate that real quickly, like right here. You can plant it outside if you like. And those will, of course, grow right there. Uh, but the lovely thing about these planters is that you can do this indoors. Isn't that special? And they don't take up a whole lot of space. I've got them here by the window because it looks pretty that way. And I like that they're getting some sun. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually need sun. I'll we'll test that out in a future uh, video. Maybe we'll put them underground and see if they still grow. But anyway, let's go ahead and make a planter. And in order to make a planter, you need planks and fertilizer. And that's the planter right there. And you can use different types of wood. You've got a, uh, I guess they all make the same color. Now, I've already got some maple planks cut up. But if uh, you guys don't know how to do that, let's do that really quickly. I've got some wood in my inventory here. I just chopped down a tree. I've got some maple logs. And as long as you have a saw in your inventory, which I'm pretty sure I do. There it be. We go over here to crafting. And this is all mussed up right now. Like, you get to these things. The planter's under barricades, which is a little bit bizarre, but I'm sure that's going to be fixed up later. Uh, we want to go to... Uh, where is... I think it's under gear right here. 
and we convert our logs into planks. And we go back to barricades, and we have our planks right here. And as long as you have fertilizer, you can go ahead and make those planters. And I already do, so I'll just do it. And I'm going to show you guys how to make fertilizer here in a second. And that's it. So the sucker's portable. You can bring it anywhere you want. Plop it down. And there you go. And it is ready to accept seeds. Now, in order to make fertilizer. Of course, you can find fertilizer. But we will be able to anyway, like I said earlier, at the botanist store. There are botanist shops in some of the towns. And you'll find seeds there as well as fertilizer um, eventually. Right now, there are a few seeds but um, they don't have all the varieties, so I had to cheat. Again, most of this I had to cheat in. Um, but to make fertilizer, you can just use rope, which you can find in the game right now in the early preview. And here we have some rope. And all you do is convert your rope into fertilizer. Go figure. All right. Now that we have that, we can also sprinkle our fertilizer. Just like in the old game, we could do this. Hold on. Let's get back to my inventory, and let's plop down a seed in here. Now, uh, what was this seed? I think I have a corn seed. Where's my corn? This is the corn. Corn's nice and tall. Let's have some corn. Now, there's several varieties of foods. We've got lettuce, corn, uh, potatoes, and I really wish there was a way to fine-tune my movement. Because this is annoying. There we go. Uh, wheat, potatoes, tomatoes... And carrots. Not sure what else. Now let's grab our fertilizer. And if you want to get some instant grow on this, this stuff is like miracle grow. Watch it. Boop. Sprinkle it on. Done. Boop. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to save that last one to make another planter. And then you can harvest. So this should be ready to harvest. It takes one shot. And there comes the corn falling from the heavens above. And let's eat some corn. It's a yellow vegetable. Hmm, of course it is. No, no, no. That hydrated slightly, but not nearly as much as the tomato. So let's go ahead and make one more planter. And I have enough. I'm just going to plop this down here. Just for the heck of it. And there we go. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Is there anything else to cover at this point with the with the farming? I don't think so. I think I I think that's pretty much it, guys. Well, that was kind of quick and boring, wasn't it? And that's exactly why I like to turn my videos of Unturned into an adventure. Because it's way more fun to demonstrate this stuff if there's some shooting and some driving, high-speed chases, driving over zombies, right? Gunplay. And all that jazz, which again, we'll get to when I get the full Let's Play rolling. We're going to start from scratch with nothing, and we will survive like we always do in the zombie apocalypse. But let me show you, since we have some extra time, let me show you a another of the new features in this, uh, in this latest update. Um, we now have storage in Unturned 3. We didn't have this before, but as you can see here, I have a big old locker system here, right? Uh, a safe or something. And here's the storage down here. So basically, you can open it up and drag and drop stuff into it just like you can in Unturned 2. Um, now this you can actually craft if you have the proper ingredients, which is metal. I don't think I have enough metal to make it, but you can craft that, that bad boy up if you, have, uh, if you have the right ingredients. So that is pretty cool stuff. Um, what else is new with this version? Oh, gas cans. Check this out. Now gas cans have a durability like, like the, the, uh, like the other tools and weapons. You can see the little green, um, the little green pyramid down here, the arrow, whatever you want to call it. That indicates the condition of the gas can. And the poorer condition that the gas can is in, the less gas it'll hold. So some of it will leak out. Why are you so happy about that? He's always so happy. Over there, the big smiley face. <laughs> uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. And what else can I share with you for now? Oh, I know. Apparently, we can crash into barricades now with the cars and destroy them. And structures, too. Let's give it a try.
Always remember, kids, for these demonstrations, put your seatbelt on. And, oh, don't don't even do this. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Start on the lights. Boom! Right through it. Nice. I wonder if I can take down a tree. Ooh. I bet if I slam into it enough, I can. <laughs> oh, this might take a while. This thing, the acceleration on this thing is terrible. Oh, I did two hits. Whoa! Look at it go. Oh, that was great. That's one way to take down a tree if you don't have an axe. Just run into it with your red pickup truck. Nice. Let's hit some more stuff. Boom. Uh oh. She's starting to smoke. Hold on. We gotta fix her up. Hold on. Fix her up before she blows. I got this. Fix it up. Always carry a blowtorch with you in the zombie apocalypse. A can of gas and a blowtorch. You can't go wrong. All right, one more try. Let's take down this tree. An old maple. Boom! Whoa, look at it go! <laughs> that's so cool! All right, well, that's fun. Gosh darn it, that was fun. Now, let's fix it up. Because the car obviously takes damage when you run into things. It's just science. Uh, and I think we're done here, folks. So we covered some farming. We covered... Uh, Running things over. Oh, I left the lights on. Maybe turn those off. There we go. But as far as I know, we're getting very close to completion. And uh, once the game is done, I'm going to start up a Let's Play. And we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to roll. Can't wait. Very excited. Hope you guys are too. And with that, folks, I think I am going to cut out and call it a day. All right. We'll see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.